Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost video on determining the remaining angle around a point where two or three polygons meet. Now in a previous video we saw how to find the interior angle, the inside angle, of any regular polygon. So for example we could find this angle here, we could find this angle here, and we could find this angle here because they're all interior angles of regular polygons. Now what do we know about the total angle around any point? Well, we know the total angle around a point is 360 degrees. So we could therefore find these three angles and subtract them from 360 degrees to work out x. So let's do that. Let's find each of the individual angles. Well, this is a square, the interior angle of a square. You should just know off by heart, it's 90 degrees. But these other ones are a bit harder. So this is a pentagon, it has five sides. Now, do you remember the formula for finding each interior angle of a regular polygon? We do 360 divided by the number of sides, and then we subtract it from 180. So that's each interior angle. And the reason that works is because the total exterior angle of any polygon is 360. So we divide it by the number of sides to get each exterior angle. And then if we know what that exterior angle is, we can subtract it from 180 because that's a straight line. So we subtract it from 180 to get the interior angle. That's why it works. So for the pentagon, we just do 180 minus 360 divided by how many sides does a pentagon have? Five. And if you do that on a calculator or in your head, that gives you 108 degrees. What shape is this? This is a regular hexagon, six sides. So for the hexagon, we do 180 minus 360 over six, and that is 120 degrees. Let's just put these in. So that's 108 degrees there, the, hex, the pentagon. This is 120 degrees in the hexagon. And then all we need to do is we just subtract these three angles from 360, because we said they add up to 360. So 360 minus 90 minus 108 and minus 120. And I'm going to do that on a calculator. And that's 42 degrees. So that's the final answer.